Hi guys and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be my top powerhouse perfumes or heavy hitters or beast mode fragrances. I did film my top longest lasting perfumes. I did 10 and that video was in collaboration with Moon Perfumes. Now, there are definitely more than 10 perfumes in my collection that are long lasting. I just kind of went through and picked 10, but I can easily have done like 30 or 40. A lot of my perfumes last eight hours, which to me is long lasting because if a perfume can get me through the day, that is long lasting to me because I do take a shower when I get up and I do take a shower when I get home from work. So if my perfume lasts, through the span of my work day for me that's a long lasting perfume there were perfumes that people had mentioned that i agree are long lasting kind of like carolina herrera's good girl this is another great long lasting perfume someone else had mentioned lolita limpica another great long lasting perfume both of these project really well the list can definitely be a lot longer so when doing my powerhouse i didn't want to narrow it down to 10 so i have i didn't even count but i believe it's closer to maybe 15 perfumes <laughs> that are powerhouse by powerhouse i mean that these perfumes all of these perfumes hit that 10 hour mark or more know that all these perfumes i'm going to mention they outperform a lot of my long lasting perfumes meaning they last for 10 hours or more they're perfumes that even after a shower i can maybe still sm uh, smell it lingering on my skin if i get it in my hair they'll stay in my hair until my next hair wash and some that i have even smelled even after doing laundry or stay on my clothes for days after that is what these perfumes are not only are they long lasting but they project they leave a sillage and, and all that good stuff but it's kind of a long list so let's go ahead and get into it okay First up, I wanted to kind of do these together. These are two great powerhouse celebrity scents, but one of them has been reformulated. So first one is Britney Spears' Believe. And this perfume is described as patchouli, fruity, sweet, woody, and tropical. This is just a very strong fruit Now, I will say you have to get the original formulation to get that beast mode but this was a perfume that i would wear out to the club with my husband and even after when i would get home and take a shower i'd wake up and still smell this the original formulation for being a celebrity fragrance it was kind of ridiculous and then we have rihanna's rebel fleur and this is another one that lasts on my skin even after i take a shower if i put this perfume on i know i have to commit to this perfume i wore this the other day and even after i took a shower this still lingered in certain parts of my skin especially like when i spray in this area here and this is just a very beautiful coconut white floral the tuberose in here is kind of strong so this perfume is described as fruity sweet vanilla coconut and powdery. This is a perfume that I wouldn't wear during the day. Of course, you can wear perfume whenever you want. This perfume's a little too heavy for me to wear during the day. I really like this for date night, especially summer because of the coconut. This to me is a very beautiful coconut tuberose scent. And again, that's Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. So I have a review on these two that I'll have linked below, but I kind of wanted to go over them. And that is Tom Ford's Black Orchid and Velvet Orchid. Both of these perfumes, again, they last 10 hours. I know I said that this one doesn't leave that sillage that other people describe. I still stand behind that comment unless I wear this in warmer weather, which I don't like to wear in warmer weather. And this one is described as warm, spicy, wood, balsamic, earthy, and sweet. And this perfume has a lot of notes in it. Again, I will have my review on both of these linked below. But this is a powerhouse fragrance. This still is a perfume that... People will smell if they pass you. They just might ne not necessarily give you a compliment because this is a perfume that you either like or you don't like. I don't want to say love or hate because I like this perfume, but I don't love this perfume. I got to be in the mood for this perfume, but I do appreciate this perfume. It is unique and I do enjoy the scent, but there is a lot going on in this bottle. So this is a perfume that I would probably only wear in colder months 
but it is a beast mode fragrance this is a perfume that sticks on my skin and stays well into the next day after a shower it stays on my hair until i wash my hair again so for that alone it's a powerhouse perfume now where i find that one to have great staying power this one i think leaves a much more beautiful scent trail on me whenever i wear this i have had people ask me what i'm wearing and this one is Tom Ford's Velvet Orchid and it is described as floral, balsamic, sweet, powdery, woody, and honey. This is sweet. I don't get the honey in this as much as I do in Lumiere. This one is just a very grown floral sweet scent. Like I have a lot of sweet floral scents that are more feminine. They're a little bit more flirty. This is more of a grown floral sweet scent. And I've heard men actually say that they enjoy this. I can see a man pulling this off, but I do find Black Orchid to be a little bit more unisex. And again, these are powerhouse because they last a very long time and they project. I just don't get the projection the way other people get the projection on me. Okay, and the next we have Lancome's La Via Belle. You guys already know this was going to be in here because if you watch any of my videos, you know that I've always called this a powerhouse perfume. This is a perfume that projects very well on me and it also lasts a very long time. Again, something that I smell even after a shower and it sticks on my clothes. And this one is described as sweet, vanilla, balsamic, woody, fruity, and powdery. And this is just a sexy gourmand with a patchouli base is what I always say. And we ain't gonna go into too much details, but this is definitely a powerhouse fragrance. Okay, and then Kind of falling in the same vein is Lancome's La Nuit Tresor. And this is another sexy gourmand. This is more smoky. I pick up the incense a lot in this perfume. And this one is described as sweet, fruity, balsamic, warm, spicy, caramel, and woody. And again, this is just another sexy gourmand, but this one, I get the fruit in the opening and then the gourmand in the, you know, in the dry down, and then this becomes more of a gourmand spicy scent, whereas this one is more gourmand patchouli. And there is patchouli in here, but the incense for me does take over. So next up, we have uh, two from the house of Mugla, and that is Angel and Angel Muse. Now, I wanted to talk about both of these. Both of these are a powerhouse, but Angel isn't one that everyone um, enjoys. This is very much a 90s perfume and one that I will probably always keep in my collection just because it's very nostalgic to me. This perfume is a perfume that I've recently added to my collection in 2019, but I've smelled it growing up. So this is a scent that takes me back to my last year in Connecticut before I moved here. So very nostalgic to me. Um, but one that I know a lot of people don't like. Now, I do really, really love Angel, but it is a scent that I, again, have to be in the mood for, and I do prefer it more at night and in colder weather. But Angel Muse is another one <laughs> that I have to be in the mood for because for me, even though this is more wearable, I still get the Angel DNA in here, just not as heavy. So this is a very hazelnut cream, um, softer version of Angel, but still being very patchouli heavy. The patchouli in both of these scents make these very strong and different and kind of unique. I will say that Angel Muse, this is a perfume that I don't like the opening of. I had gotten a sample of Angel Muse before I pulled the trigger on Angel. I already knew I liked it Alien and actually had like a little travel of it. But then I saw eBay, they had a travel of Angel, Angel Muse and Alien and I wanted to try them. Not knowing that I already knew about Angel, but again, I knew of Angel when I was like 11 or 12. So when I got this, the set and sprayed Angel, I immediately remembered the scent. It's a scent that older, women in my life would wear. Angel Muse, when I sprayed it, came off very uh, menthol and kind of medicinal in the opening. 
and I didn't actually like it. It wasn't, <laughs> Angel Muse was not love at first sniff. And then after an hour, I kept smelling myself and I'm like, what is that? And it was, it was this, the menthol that I get, whatever that is, it went away. And then I got Angel, hazelnut cream, and patchouli. <laughs> So I like both of these scents. These are both powerhouse scents. They last until the next day. This one probably lasts four days. This is a very polarizing scent, not a safe blind buy. But when I wear it, I get compliments. So there's that. And then next up, we have Jimmy Choo. This is a patchouli bomb. So when I spray this, I get a burst of fruit. And then when this dries down, it becomes more of a woody, toffee, patchouli heavy scent. But in the opening, I get the fruitiness that I, I actually never used to get. When I used to spray this, when I first got it, I would only get the patchouli. Now I appreciate the scent a lot more that I could pick up the other notes. But this is described as sweet, patchouli, fruity, woody, and warm spicy this has mandarin orange green notes orchid toffee and patchouli and now i can pick up the mandarin but it's not like um it's not like citrus heavy it's mandarin like um a sweet mandarin and this is a perfume that not only lasts for hours but projects very well i've worn this to work and when i'm leaving have gotten compliments or have people have asked me what I'm wearing. So this one projects really well on my skin. And again, that's Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, and this is an Eau de Parfum. I do own the EDT, that one is long lasting, but not as patchouli heavy as this one. Okay, and then next up, we have Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel Paris. Now, I know that the house is Chanel, but when I read this, I'm just reading the bottle. I know I had someone in my comments annoyed because I always say Chanel Paris. It's only perfume, guys. I know the house is Chanel. It's just a habit. I do read the bottle just because I, I, I'm I, sitting in front of 30 perfumes and trying to keep it all straight in my head. So this perfume, I have always said is a powerhouse perfume. This is a perfume that I have known since my early 20s. I will say that when I wore this perfume in my early 20s, it lasted four days to the point that I decluttered the perfume because not only did it give me headaches, but it was too much. So I, I do think that this might have been reformulated. It's still an amazing powerhouse perfume, still lasts until the next day, projects really well. I can always tell when someone is wearing Coco Mademoiselle. It's a, it's a powerhouse fragrance, but I, I just remembered in my 20s it lasting a little too long. <laughs> I did want to mention the intense version. These two smell very similar. I wouldn't say this is more intense, just this is a little bit more uh, sweet and this one's more citrus. Uh, where some people might find that citrus note to be a little uh, sharp or harsh, you might wanna try the intense. They smell very similar um, though. But this is described as citrus, woody, patchouli, sweet, white, floral, and balsamic. And this is just a very beautiful uh, patchouli white floral. And this is a classic in my opinion, and one that I'll probably always have in my collection. And again, uh, just a very beautiful powerhouse fragrance. Okay, then we have YSL's Mon Petit. And this perfume, I have mentioned in other videos, lasts forever on me. This I wore on New Year's and it was still going strong. I, I would think it was the first time we ever stayed out till like, I wanna say we stayed out till five or six in the morning. And this perfume was still, was still hanging onto my skin. And this is just a very beautiful, boozy, fruity floral. This is another one. All these perfumes are perfumes that I will always have in my collection because they are my top powerhouse perfume with the exception of Black Orchid. This is one, I don't know that I would add that back in because it, it I'm still, you know, I'm st I don't know about her. So this is described as fruity, sweet, fresh, white, floral, and woody. And again, on my skin, this just pulls very fruity and like a, a beautiful red wine. Just a gorgeous scent. This is a scent that gets me compliments and I, I just, 
one I will always have in my collection. This scent sticks to me, it sticks to my clothes and my hair. And again, that's YSL's Mon Petit. And then next we have C Rose Signature 2. And this is another beautiful, boozy, fruity floral, but very much smells like C the original, but has more of a rosy booziness to it. And this one's described as floral, rose, fruity, citrus, woody, and vanilla. And this is another one that projects very well on my skin. This performs just as good as C Intense. That's another powerhouse. This, the whole C line lasts good. I would say Passione and C the original perform better in the heat. But C Intense and C Rose uh, Signature, they last hours on my skin and they stick to my hair and my clothes for days. But again, that's uh, Giorgio Armani's C Rose Signature 2. The next one's a Freshie. And I know a lot of people say that Freshies, and by Freshie, I mean like fresh uh, citrus scents. I know a lot of people say that they don't last. Citrus scents, for whatever reason, last very long on me. And this one is probably one that lasts again for days. And that is Aqua de Joya by Giorgio Armani. And I have said this, I'm a broken record at this point. This perfume performs crazy on my skin. This perfume lasts even after a shower. It lasts in my hair until I wash it out of my hair. And this is one of those perfumes that if I spray too much on my clothes, even after doing the laundry, I will still smell this on my clothes. This is another scent that I will always have in my collection. I do want to smell the new one. I'm really hoping that they just changed the bottle and didn't reformulate it. But this one is described as aromatic citrus green floral and fresh. And this has mint and lemon. And this is just so gorgeous. This used to be my signature scent back in 2000. And 11 12 i used to wear this only for about a year i would only wear this and again that's aqua de joya by giorgio armani and then last but not least is delina by parfum de mali and this scent this is a scent that lasts until the next day on me it stays in my hair again it's one that projects very well on my skin my husband can always tell when i'm wearing this and i have gotten compliments when i wear this my skin does pull the rhubarb really well in here so it is a scent that to me is unique because i do pull the rhubarb note very much in here so this is a pretty fruity floral but it's more of a tart fruity floral not your juicy fruity floral more of a tart fruity floral and this one is described as rose floral fruity fresh musky and woody and I think this is the perfume that got me into my rose addiction. Rose has always been a scent that I didn't really care for because when I never used to look up notes, I didn't realize how many perfumes had rose. So the rose perfumes that I would smell that smelled very rosy to me were like your vintage rose, like the perfumes that smelled like freshly cut bouquet of roses and those perfumes I didn't care for but the more and more I'm learning about perfume notes the more I'm realizing that rose perfumes actually sit in a different kind of category I will say I started to change my mind about rose scents with this one but this is the one that started my like rose addiction so since getting this one I've picked up a lot of scents I don't want to say like this but I don't know just in the same category and this is Delina and I love her those are my powerhouse fragrances let me know in the comments below what are your powerhouse perfumes what are the perfumes that last forever on your skin I don't want to hear about what doesn't last forever on your skin let me know what are the perfumes that last on your skin for hours but that will do it for today's video i hope you liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you like me and haven't already subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate it if you subscribe click that notification bell so you know when i upload and until next time guys bye